Hey everybody, welcome back, Devin, OG, original Grudnar, setting down, continuing our playthrough, Sea Lion 1940, John Taylor Software, the July campaign, 187 turns long, uh, let me check a few things here as I set up the screen to make sure everything's running right, wasn't too happy with the, uh, the resolution last night, uh, after last night's stream, so I went into OBS and I played around with the uh, stream settings some, or the video resolution settings some more. Basically doubled uh, the amount of processing power that that was uh, being allocated to to uh, processing the screenshot. So hopefully, I, again, I can't tell during the during the play, but in, when I go into post-production and take a look at it, then I'll decide if I need to tweak it a little bit, bit more. If it doesn't look like it really changed that much, I may go ahead and just back off so it's not you know sucking up so much of my computer's power. Not that this... <laughs> computer that this program chews up a lot of uh, uh, my computer's memory to begin with because it's not that graphically intensive. But if I want to do something that was a little bit more graphically intensive, eventually, you know, uh, order battle again, not too graphically intensive. But say I pick up a oh, I don't know Assassin's Creed Odyssey and want to do that, a little bit of that. Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. All right. So, anyways, we're we're stepping into what is it? 2000 hours, 8 p.m., uh, 16 July, 1940, fourth day in the invasion. Uh, this is the last full daylight turn, and then we're going to have a dust turn before the night time. So here we are, still dealing with uh, the Harwich Ferry issue. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. I think that's, yeah, that's a rail gun. Oh, what I need to do is I need to check my headquarters to see how far out he can, what his command radius is. Uh, actually, that's pretty good. I don't want to advance these guys too much further west, but I can move him a couple more hexes to the east to catch more of the uh, uh, this little peninsula right here. Uh, as I've got gonna have guys fighting on it, so let's go ahead and turn that off. I wish, and I know Panzer Battles does this, has the hotkeys for all the commands. I wish Panzer Campaigns did, and if Panzer Campaigns do have it, I just ain't found it yet. Of course, I'm not a very smart individual, so we'll just leave that. Now, so we move the headquarters there, and that should give us enough headquarters radius to cover all my uh, 7th Falsham Jaeger guys that are going to be trying to fight over here to clear out uh, the Harwich Ferry system. And those troops up, those guys are not doing a damn thing. They're just kind of sitting there in defense positions. Hold until relieved. Hold until relieved. And so these engineers were just kind of sweeping to make sure there's nobody down over here. It doesn't look like there is. Uh, these guys will just kind of sit back and chill. We do have a rail gun over here. Let's move a couple more units up. Move that guy down that way. Yeah, I think pretty much everybody can just kind of chill and hang out. Right here. Let's go ahead and take everybody out of travel mode just in case. I'm out of travel mode. Seven false Jaeger is real easy to do. Not a lot of units. All right, on to the next. Thirtieth infantry again, as always, as before. Hey Al, welcome back, friend. Everybody, Al Red Sox fan, go check out his wonderful channel of all things sports related, computer and tabletop. He just started playing a new uh, a new uh, card and dice baseball game today. Uh, forgive me, Al, but I forget the name of it. But yeah, if you like sports, go check out Al Red Sox fan. And he is the driving force behind some streams, live streams, uh, discussion panels that I've been involved in here with the last few weeks. So check out him and Dog Sidious. They kind of run them both. There's also uh, Comics with Bueller. If you enjoy comic books, check out Comics with Bueller and Stratomatic Delaware for more board sports gaming. And of course, Dog Sidious is all of them 
Star Wars and Entertainment. All right, so 30th Infantry Division, kind of just chilling and hanging out. I uh, should probably take these guys out of travel mode in case the Brits decide they want to come over and play with me. These guys are fine, but so okay. So bulk of the 30th is out of the way, so they're just going, going to be chilling and relaxing for a while. Uh, but the 22nd looks like they're going to have a little bit of fight on their hands. Again, my favorite tactic is to cut off the to get these guys kind of clear of this paved road because I want the, uh, <laughs> the 7th Panzer Division to use that road. So, but 7th Panzer Division is going to be in position for several turns yet so to unleash and uh, attack down the road. So I've got a little bit of leeway that I can play with them and try to get uh, try to get those views cleared out. The infamous traffic jam. That, yeah, that's Rebels. There, there, there. Oh, those guys are traveling. Me. It's going to be more time doing traffic duties. Actually fighting, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let's start moving up. I think the sixth Gebirgshag is really not going to be doing anything for a while. I don't want to waste, you know, the next day trying to get the sixth Gebirgshag across, and I can be getting my Panzer Division across. That's okay. Gebirgshag is done. Not be that of them when fight against the British Second Army. So they, they, I'm sure they appreciate the rest of the organization. Alright. I think that's about all I can do up here. And yeah, really, these guys are just. Not really doing much of anything for a while. A lot of fatigue to be bleed off. Alright, so let's jump down to the Dover area. Uh, yeah, OG the traffic cop. That's right. Alright, so we know the Brits have got are starting to put up a line and push more reinforcements. They that, again, it doesn't really surprise me. I mean, it's kind of one of the reasons why I've got this division over here facing eastwards to, to cut off any retreat. This division here facing westwards to cut off any reinforcements that they feed. But this is a huge area, and who knows how many troops the Brits had in there and how, they, how many they were able to push through before I was able to throw up this defensive cordon. So I'm still got a fight on my hand with the... Uh, First Gebirgashay, First Mountain Troops. So those look like air mobile troops. And that's London Division. And there's a fresh battalion back here with who knows. They, they could be they could be First London Division. But uh, still got a fight on my hands, which sucks because I really need to bleed off these guys' uh, fatigue. They just got some really high fatigue. I'm still not completely cleared out of. I mean, I've got most of it take out these few units here at Langdon. So, most good thing, though, I'll 
Yeah, fatigue 195 disrupted, fatigue 244. Of course, that company's only got 59 men. Alright, those guys we gotta pull off to the line. Let's see, those guys, those guys. Move up to plug the hole. Sixty and I'll just go ahead and keep them waiting for a little bit. Those pioneers. We can move them up. And that infantry we're gonna keep resting. Get those guys unloaded from their trucks. Get those guys unloaded from their trucks. Okay, 76 4. Okay, those guys are halfway. Yeah, 39%, 43%. I need to get some reinforcement. Oh, they're just isolated. They're not disrupted. Crap. Oh, well, let's go ahead and assault, anyways. I mean, they're in bunkers. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to shoot at them to get them to disrupt. Those guys are not going to assault. 181 fatigue and disrupted. Yeah. Just running out of combat troops in the area. Resting, resting, resting. I do have some artillery, but the artillery's not going to really touch those bunkers. And they're setting up. These guys are resting. Those guys are setting up. Resting, resting. Getting the snail snot shot out of them by these Brits that are in front of them. Shot at from three different sides. Those guys are pull these guys back a little bit more. How are those guys? Those guys are pretty good. Okay, let's go ahead and take these guys, mount them up, get them over here to try to reinforce this little front line that the Brits are putting up. The headquarters unit there is fine. Those guys are fine there. Yeah, I don't have any artillery set up. Uh, these panzers, though. Now, it's not like they're going to really take the panzers much. Unless he has some armor somewhere that he's going to, uh, to push my direction. Which I hope he doesn't. Uh, Alright, so, commandos. These little commandos here. Oh, yeah, that's right. Headquarters. Let's chase down headquarters. <laughs> to hurt their command and control. Number 9 training group. That division's mostly been eliminated. So, uh, let's see. We get some anti-tank guns. And here I'm woefully inadequate on my uh, British equipment and armor uh, identification and knowledge. These guns right there. These are anti-tank guns. They can stay there. Alright, let's move over a little bit. We got these guys right here that we need to plug off. There we go. Let's make sure we can have enough movement to uh, get around and cut them off. Hopefully, I can knock these guys out. Yeah, I should be able to knock these guys out this turn. Almost. Like the other stack, that should finish them off. Right, there we go. Alright. Here are those guys, and really this division. Let's just go ahead and move these guys up. We got this one. Okay. Uh oh, an Indian division. Are those Gurkhas? Oh, those might be Gurkhas. Oh, that's going to be bad if those are Gurkhas. Uh, and of course the RAF still let me know they're around. You guys are all in good position. All right. And yeah, like I said, like I've been saying, this division is pretty much just going to dig in to kind of cut off this major road, keep any British units escaping from you know like Canterbury and Ramsgate and Margate and this peninsula here, and to keep any British reinforcements from trying to reinforce that area. So. 
Yeah, I think that's pretty good. All right, now Maidstone, Harry's at hand, Harriet Sham. I've got these guys cut off. I still need to get my armor. Still need to fight my armor through into there. I have <laughs> lots of lots of British. Well, you know, those uh, okay, Kiwis are cut off. Sultan. Hundred thirty-one casualties. Yeah. Take me a couple turns probably to eliminate that battalion. Then I need to get this arm. Oh, disrupted, disrupted. Wonderful. Uh, he's back to fatigue. Or bleed off fatigue. Alright, well, let's just shoot these. Okay, disrupted. Do I want to throw my tanks at him? Yeah, let's throw the flame tanks at him. Alright, at least push them back. <laughs> of course, drove my fatigue up to 250 and knocked out one of my vehicles. But those guys are disrupted. Do I really want to move that? Yeah, even if they're disrupted. Now, let's hang them back at least a turn. See if I can bleed off that and get rid of that disruption before I move them forward to deal with those uh, New Zealand tanks. And of course, none of the infantry I have here can shoot at them. The only thing I can do is assault them, but I'm not going to assault them when, neither, when both of them aren't disrupted. Uh, but I will assault here. <laughs> Lost 15 men, 253 casualties. That's good. Tank. Yep, he's got vehicles, more tanks, but are they moving towards Harriet Sham or moving away from Harriet Sham? Let's take one of these guns. Put him right there. Let's take this infantry and follow up and stack some infantry with those anti tank guns. So they've got a little bit more defense than that overlooking. Let's see, I don't think those... Yeah, those pack 36s have only got uh, one hex range, but it gets covered. He's got the infantry in there to protect him against infantry assaults. Yada, 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 yay. All right, so... Yeah, this entire advance is just totally being held up right here at uh, Hollingbourne and Harriet Sham. Let's just up a little bit. Let's see, do I keep the artillery or do I load them up? I think we'll keep the artillery in position and keep shooting for a couple more turns. Let's get some of these guys. Oops! I ran right into some Canadians. Shoot with disrupted then. four casualties inflicted like that but he's still got two companies in there that are over a hundred men each let's just keep shooting up well, let's go ahead and assault again good thing is you can have 152 casualties inflicted let's assault with the third from a third part. 76 man I just Huge stacks of infantry in there. But we would have been down some. Yeah. 
that's him doing. Hopefully should be able to eliminate the next one. Finish off that. Nope, still can't finish off that stack. Uh, go ahead and assault there. 40 men, the other stack, assault there. 15 men. Let's hope we can knock them out. Okay. All right, so looking into dealing with Maidstone proper. Am I still moving troops around? Or yeah, I think I think I'm pretty much in good position. Let's go ahead and try to take those guns out. All right, there we go. That pretty much locks the door on those uh, British units defending Maidstone. So let's go ahead. That unit attack the headquarters. Uh, oh, that's right. Uh, over a bridge, so they gotta be in transport mode. The problem is now there's this huge stack of units in those pillboxes, so yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tougher to assault. Nine men, no casualties on their side. Let's see these guys. Ugh. Assault. Didn't break them or didn't disrupt them. Assault. There we go. Yeah. So yeah, all those those British units I managed to push back into one single hex. So now they got this huge stack of guns and infantry, and this one single hex is going to take probably take me, you know, at least through the night to reduce those guys. Wonderful. Not exactly what I wanted to do, but you know, kind of what I got stuck with. Um, what really do I want to do with this division? Yeah, I think I think once we capture Maidstone. I think this division is going to rest for a little bit as well before we push on to uh, uh, Chatham here and then push on to the Thames River and maybe even Gravesend. So, but yeah, I don't want to. Learning real quick that I've been pushing my troops too hard, <laughs> dealing with lots and lots of fatigue. So I'll just kind of get these guys moved in. Oh. Hello, Mr. Guns. Basically, I don't think I'm going to advance past this hill line here for Maidstone. Um, but... Yeah, I think they are clear up Maidstone, give them a chance to rest for a little bit. Uh, I do have artillery, but the artillery is probably not going to do crap to those guys in the bunkers. But I do have other targets to shoot at. Uh, yep, I think that's it for those divisions. Now over here. Ugh. Oh, no, 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 okay. Yeah. <laughs> the, who is this? 22nd? No, 34th. They're the ones that are spread out all over the hell and back. I need to stop pushing with them and just reform the division. I've captured Tunbridge and Toonbridge. Toonbridge Wells and Tunbridge. So, let's just go ahead and clear out those artillery units. Try to reform the division of Tunbridge. 
Oh, there's a headquarters unit. We can't not go out of the headquarters unit. Occupies in defensive position. Of course, he's just trying to flank me a little bit here. This home division is spread out and fighting little penny packet battles all over the place. Aircraft guns make excellent anti Throw some artillery around. Oh, not in range range. You see no one else. There we go. Trying to figure out how and where to form a defensive line while I try to extradite the rest of the division that's you know 20 miles away, fighting around Mayfield and Hadlow, reform the division. I'm just trying to figure out where to set up some defensive lines. I need to extend the lines a little bit to the east here because I got I got nothing over here. Oops. That's okay. uh, well, if I take care of that guy. He's disrupted. Fine, attack with that stuff. Still, uh, I don't want to attack with the tanks, but we'll assault with the tanks. Tanks did even less damage than uh, the infantry did. Alright, now let's just shoot them up for a little bit. Just try to extract the coordinates away. Hide me down here because I got the weight.
course, extract him. I've got to finish off the units they're fighting against. Definitely trying to load them up with them. Alright, let's see if we can take out those Canadians. Yeah, almost. Take those two units on assault. There we go, knock them out. Let those guys mount up. Get them right back with the division. Get themselves in a good position, and they got a couple three turns to shoot at me uh, without me disrupting them or anything. They just do massive amount of injuries to me. Not so much casualty work, but definitely driving the fatigue up. That's the bad thing. Oh, did they push across? Or, oh, I think they did push across. Ah, damn it, they did. Actually, I think they came down from the north. Pushed me out of uh, Buxted. That's not good. Uh, you know, I'll just go ahead and pull them back. There's a big old stack of armor in here, but you know, two stugs, one Panzer Jaeger, seventeen Panzer threes, but. 159 fatigue. I'm still trying to bleed that fatigue off from them, so they'll just stay there. You know what? These guys really should probably be digging in. Uh, oh, disrupted units can't dig in. Fine. Have the undisrupted units start digging in. Uh, 88s are not really good against infantry, so let's just keep those in the back like that. Anti-aircraft guns are good against infantry, but I don't know where he... Now, let's go ahead. Push those guys to that crossroad. Okay. We have the Sussex up. Now he's down. Man, there's going to be some Australians in position. Hopefully I can just hold there with no issues. Those guys need to bleed off fatigue. Oh, look at that. Partisans. All right. 29th motorized. Uh, da, 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 da. If I attack it. Oh, if I attack here, that'll push them back. All right, so yeah, those are disrupted. So sorry, partisans, not going to shoot at you. This time. Oh, oh, oh. Yep, push them back into that edge. Just like that. All those guys are cut off, and broken, disrupted. Up oh, there, still fresh. So, or well, they've at least got a fresh company. Them up to hopefully disrupt them so I can assault. Them. All right, did disrupt them. So let's go ahead and assault. Twenty-four men, three hundred injured casualties. Yeah, that's that's good. That's a good exchange rate. Uh, he needs to bleed off fatigue. They need to bleed off fatigue. Let's see. Let's try to take out that guy that we've been working on for a couple of hours. No! Well, poopy. I can assault with these guys. Oh, that still didn't do it.
I tell you, those Brits, when they get it in their head, they're not going to go anywhere. They are not going to go anywhere. Bleeding fatigue, bleeding fatigue, bleeding fatigue. Ah, motorized. Good. Hello, Mr. Motorized. How are you doing today? Come on to the front lines. Uh, no, let's pull him off the road. And let him rest and recuperate. Let this these two motor right. What the hell are you doing moving that way? Run down the road. Stupid AI. Let's see what artillery do I have to do? Because we got a real big stack. Of nearly fresh parts Soften it a little bit. No. Alright, let's Disrupted. Ugh. To trap these guys, I gotta move somebody from. Well, I hate to do it. He's got 143 fatigue, but at least that'll trap all these Brits in position, but I don't dare assault. Yeah, he's got five five companies in there, three of them are pretty good in position, so. I've got an airstrike there, I think that may throw it in. Let's see what we have left for airstrikes. Oh, we do have airstrikes. Um, one, two, three, four, five flights of Stukas, but three of them have got fatigue, so I've got basically two flights that I can commit. Hey, Ben, glad you're able to stop by and say hi. I appreciate it. And everybody else who's kind of lurking at the channel, say hi as well. So it's always nice to know which one of my my friends and followers or watching me do this because I'll admit my numbers have getting really low here lately and it's like well you know do I want to keep doing this because I'm not getting many views it gives me interaction from the people who are watching it gives me a list of watching to do the stream so if you enjoy the stream enjoy watching me play this say something even if you're not catching the stream when I'm streaming Go ahead and leave a comment. Like I'm not asking you to share or like or subscribe. I mean, you're going to do that on your own if you like it and you want to subscribe. I don't ask for that, but just let me know what you think. That's more important to me than a like and a share. Uh, all right, uh, 29th Motorized. They're still hanging out there. I may. I may nah we're gonna hold them in position. Alright. Third Panzer. Yes, third Panzer. Took out those partisans that were holding me up forever. Um I think I was gonna head where was I gonna head with these guys? That's a problem when I <laughs> don't play for a couple days. It's like, hmm, what was I going to do with this division? Uh, I think I was going to bring them up to Ticehurst to kind of form up the division there. So let's get up to Ticehurst.
All right. 29th is not going to be doing anything more. 7th is done. The Gross Deutschland. I really don't want to do anything with Gross Deutschland until I figure out, you know, maybe tomorrow I might get some more reinforcements for the Gross Deutschland. But they're just a regiment right now, so I kind of got to be real judicious with uh, with how I use them. So they're just, they're just chilling for right now. Uh, let's see. We got these guys. All right, I think that's pretty much everybody. So let's take a look at our artillery dialogue. Oh, lots of artillery that I have not done anything with. Ah, you're right. I have not done anything with these. Oh, that's right, because, well, they're in bunkers. Fine. I'll go ahead and shoot at them in the bunkers. Oh, well, the guns won't be in the bunkers. So I might be able to do some damage to that. right there. Oh, that's right. I didn't do anything with all this artillery because I was trying to figure out if I wanted to load them up or not. Um, you know, let's go with these guys. Let's disrupted ice slap. Okay, yeah, I'm working on eliminating this. Shut down. To it, that is a lot of artillery. Uh, okay, so they who can they fire? Oh, they can fire there. And yeah, I'm in travel mode, and I don't have a unit adjacent to it, so shoot, but that's not going to do me any good. Um, I think that's going to be it, so let's go ahead and make sure we hit the next turn to make sure we do it <laughs> correctly, like I did what, a couple, a couple turns ago. Forgot to hit the end turn. And we're going to be moving into a dust turn. Keep an eye on this. Kind of flipping through kind of fast, but it gives me a good idea what's going on and what to expect. When it takes that pause like that, that means there's a lot of units that I don't know about that are moving. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. You see those all those guys pop up at Colchester? Looks like the 22nd Glider is going to have a fight on their hands. I was hoping they weren't going to be pushing much more up there, but it looks like they are. So as soon as it gets done going through its turn, we'll, we'll take a peek at... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. like me pointing at the map's going to do any good. You can't see what I'm pointing at. So I got to use the Curther. Come on, Devin, let's remember that. Uh... Yeah, he's moving a lot of units that I can't see. Because I, I know that happens whenever it pauses like that. Um, because just because I've played a bunch of Tiller games before and, uh, you know, had the AI at normal processing and whatever. Because you can hear the vehicles moving or troops marching or what have you. But, uh, yeah, the camera just stops in one screen while it's doing that because you don't know where it's at because Fog of War is on. So whenever it pauses for a really long time like that, especially on fast AI, I know there's a lot of troops that they're moving around. So, and see, that's one, again, one of the things that I just I really don't like about the Tiller games is just the lack of documentation. I mean, intelligence-wise, I would know what divisions were in the area and what divisions were capable of being formed up. I mean, so I don't know where his reserves are, where his reserves are coming from in the game, whereas historically, I would. And that is the one thing that does kind of irritate me about the Tiller games, is just the lack of documentation on what reinforcements are going to show up where. How many reinforcements, how many reserve divisions does Britain have? Do they have 15 reserve divisions? Do they have 20? Do they have 5? I don't know this, and the game doesn't tell you, so. 
Makes it a little bit difficult to, uh, to plan out. Uh, anyways, dust turn. Area units available. Four units out of 23 headquarters out of command. That's a good thing. Six artillery units unavailable. 30, 33 units low on ammo. Six units undisrupted out of 36 checked. Six units low on fuel. 85 units recovered fatigue. 138 units recovered losses. I wish it would tell you. It, you can click on you know, what units got reinforcements back, but it doesn't tell you how many men. And I kind of wish it told you how many men you got back. So, But it does not, and I think that's going to be it. So let's go ahead and save this. Uh, might be back later this evening. Haven't decided if we're going to do another turn of this or do Order of Battle World War II, but I'm sure I'll be back to do something. Big thanks to Al Red Sox fans for jumping in the channel and saying something. Big thanks to Ben Hogan for jumping in the channel and saying something. And big thanks to the guys who jumped in the channel that didn't say something. I still appreciate you guys. Still thank you guys coming for coming and watching. Uh, yeah, I think uh, think think we're good. Questions, comments, concerns, complaints, criticisms, and comment section. I'll see everybody next time. Yeah.